Hello, welcome back to my sewing room, but I'm not in my sewing room. I'm at my friend's house and she has a problem. Her pillow lost a button here and a button back here. So I'm gonna show you how to easily fix that problem. So you have the buttons and you'll need some really strong like upholstery thread or um, heavy duty thread and a long needle. Depending on how thick your cushion is, is it this long or this long? I think this one should work, we'll see. So I'm gonna double thread my needle and we're gonna get started. Okay, to get started, I'm going to take my needle and put it through the button. It's a shank button. And I'm gonna tie the button at the end of my thread. I kind of left a little too long of a tail on mine, but I was able to hide it anyway. Next time I would, I would leave a shorter tail. And I'm not a professional upholsterer. This is just how I fix it. So I just wanted to show you how you can easily repair a button that came off one of your tufted cushions. So now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna go through the cushion with the button tied to the end of my string and push it through to the other side of my cushion. And I kind of press down to find it. Just be careful you don't poke yourself. And then pull that up. And I'm gonna go back down through, but not in the same hole. I'm gonna go over a little bit so that it catches some of the fabric on the top and pull it back through. And I catch it underneath the button as I push it up through the cushion. And then I pull that thread through. And see that little tail is sticking out, but I, I find a way to hide it. I should have made it shorter. But I'm wrapping the thread around the button several times. And then I'm going to tie a knot by looping the thread around and pulling the needle up through and tightening that about three times. I usually do that. I push pull it around so that it creates a loop, and I'm just tying a knot, like a, a regular knot. And now I'm going to go back through the fabric down to the other side of the cushion and then pull that up through the other side and I'm just flipping over to make sure that button is looking good and when you pull on it it'll help tuft it. Now I'm grabbing the other button that goes on the opposite side and I'm going to thread that through my my needle through that button and I'm going to go back down to the other side and then pull that through and I'm going to pull on it to tuft the other button see how it gets tufted and pulled in to the cushion to create that tufted look so I'm pulling that tight and I'm going through the little eye of the button, the shank of the button, should I say, and I'm just going through that several times. To tighten it. And I'm using the little tail that I accidentally left there to, to tie a knot around it and then you'll see um, I'm able to wrap it around and tie it underneath and hide that little tail. Next time I won't leave that little tail but it kind of came in handy to tie it off. So that's what I'm doing here. And so I wrapped it around the little tail and pushed it down through to hide that little tail and that worked. And now I'm pushing the needle through and I'm pulling it up tightly to tuft the other side and there you can see that button is tufted and now while pulling it tightly 
I'm going to go back through the shank of that button and go back through to the other side so we can tough that button too. I pull that through and pulling it tightly to see how it's tufted now and how both sides are tufted. I'm just checking both sides, the other side to make sure it's pulling the button tight enough. And now holding it tightly, I'm going to wrap the thread around that button and tie a knot a few times. And that will hold both buttons tightly together to keep the tufting on both sides. And I'll just tie that off in a knot. And then clip my threads. All done. Cushion repaired. It's tufted on both sides. If you like my videos, check out this video right here. I think you'll really like it. Thank you for joining me today. Have a so blessed day. Bye for now.